Hi students, welcome back to our YouTube channel Mass Insights. Today's topic is on straight lines of class 11 CBSC mathematics. In that we are dealing with exercise 10.1 in that the first problem we are going to solve. It's very easy problem, it is very easy but you have to concentrate on it. Why? Because putting numbers and doing some calculations when goes wrong your answer will also goes wrong. What the problem says? Draw a quadrilateral in the Cartesian plane. Means taking x axis and y axis on a plane. Then you have to use these vertices minus 4, 5, 0, 7, 5, minus 5 and minus 4, minus 2. Also find its area. It is very important. See, before going into draw the quadrilateral, you have to observe what are the minimum and maximum values of x coordinates and y coordinates. Why? Because those depending on those who will draw positive x axis, negative x axis, positive y axis, negative y axis. See, you know that the horizontal line is called x axis and the vertical line is called y axis. These x axis and y axis meet at a point called O. That is called origin. See, then whatever the right side part of the y axis is called positive, means we will find only positive values there. And to the left side of the neg left side of the y axis, we will find negative x axis. Similarly, if you take x axis, then the upward area of y axis is called positive and the downward area of y axis is called negative. If you observe the, co the vertices of the quadrilateral, the minimum value of x on x axis is minus 4 and maximum value is 5. So, it is no problem. You can show those values on the graph paper without changing the scale of the graph. If you take the graph paper, the scale is 1 centimeter is equals to 1 unit on x axis. And similarly, if you see the y coordinates 5, 7, minus 5 and minus 2. Minimum values minus 5 and maximum values 7. Even you can show these values on the graph paper without changing the scale of the graph paper that 1 centimeter is equals to 1 unit. My dear students, I will say that I will give an advice to all of you. Immediately after reading the problem, do not try to solve it. First understand it. What is to be? What is to be taken? What is the formula used? After analyzing everything in your mind, then only start. Particularly, do not strike out the problem at first instant. Then that is the first impression of the evaluator. So, whenever you start your answering, select a problem which is very easy to you. Now, in this case, I have to plot all these points and then I will join, I will get a quadrilateral. See, quadrilaterals are square, rectangle, parallelogram and uh, trapezium also. If your quadrilateral is of any of these types, it is very easy to find its area. Why? Because there are particular formulas to find their areas. But in our case, our quadrilateral may not be such type of quadrilateral. So, how to find its area? Now, first plot the given points, then join them, you will get a quadrilateral. See, first one is minus 4, 5. Means on x-axis, you have to take minus 4. Means it is here. And in y-axis, positive 5. Means you have to go up. So, you will get that point here. So, the name of the, the coordinates of this pointer minus 4 comma 5. If you see 0 comma 7, if you observe the x coordinate is 0, our point 0 comma 7 lies on y axis. So, 0 comma 7 means you will get here. This is 0 comma 7 point. Third is 5 comma minus 5 means 
on x axis you have to take 5 on y axis you have to take minus 5 see on x axis this is positive 5 then you have to take negative 5 so you didn't show this minus 5 now I am showing so positive 5 and negative 5 comes here this is the point 5 comma minus 5 and finally the fourth vertex is minus 4 comma minus 2 minus 4 is on x axis and minus 2 is on y axis this is minus 4 comma minus 2 so after plotting all these points you have to join them with a scale actually why because all these are sides of a quadrilateral so this is the quadrilateral let name the vertices as a and this is b and this is c and this is d you have to find the area of this quadrilateral see it is not a square or rectangle or trapezium or parallelogram this is not following those conditions so you have to treat it as a general quadrilateral and find its area now to find its area i will divide it into two triangles the first one is this and second one is this then i will find the area of this triangle first by using the same formula i will find the area of this triangle also then i will add the areas of both triangles then i will get the total area of the given quadrilateral yes therefore solution what i am doing is now area of triangle otherwise area of quadrilateral quadrilateral what is quadrilateral i am naming it as a b c d is equals to so area of triangle what is the triangle first triangle students a b c so a b c plus and area of triangle a c d i will find the areas of this triangle separately then i will add you will use only same uh, one formula now what i am doing is area of triangle i am writing triangle like this a b c that is equals to formula you know that formula half into x1 half i will explain how to remember this formula very easily so x1 of y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 square units see this is the area definitely the units are square units only this what are x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 this is very important whatever the coordinates of a or x1 y1 see x1 y1 is 0 comma 7 next is x2 y2 x2 y2 are the coordinates of the vertex b where is b b is 5 comma minus 5 and c that is uh, c that is x3 comma y3 what are the coordinates minus 4 comma minus 2 substitute all these values in this formula then you will get area of triangle abc be careful students while substituting the values you will get wrong answer even if you do a small mistake half into x1 so 0 into right y2 minus so minus 5 y2 minus y3 y2 minus y3 is minus 2 already minus is there therefore minus of minus 2 will become plus 2 see whatever the value it will not make any difference why because you are multiplying it with 0 next x2 what is x2 x2 is 5 5 into 
y3 minus y1. See y3 is minus 2 and y1 is 7. So minus 7. And x3, what is x3? x3 is here that is minus 4 minus of plus will make you minus therefore minus 4 of this is y1 minus y2 where is y1 see be careful 7 minus y2 y2 minus 5 so minus of minus will give you plus 5 so this is the area this is equals to half into 0 into something so not bother about it don't bother about it this is minus 2 minus 7 minus 9 minus 9 into plus 5 9 5 is a 45 minus 45 similarly this is 7 plus 5 12 12 4 is a 12 4 is a 48 minus 48 that is equals to half into minus of 45 48 see this is 93 minus 93 therefore I will conclude this as area of triangle a b c is equals to half into I will remove modulus modulus is used to remove any negativeness is there therefore 93 I will write 93 by 2 square units this is the area of this big triangle I am going to find the area of the next triangle that is now area of what is this triangle triangle a c d a c d you have to write the same formula that is half into if you write formulas more number of times they will be in your mind for a long time my dear students so i am writing again it half of x1 into y2 minus y1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 square units square units i said that how to remember this see this is in the first term you have to write x1 in the second term write x2 in the third term write x3 x1 x2 x3 very simple see after one you will get 2 after 2 3 after 2 3 after 3 1 cyclic 1 2 3 1 2 3 like that but within the bracket you have to write y coordinates x1 y2 minus y3 x2 y3 minus y1 in this way you can easily remember this formula now you have to take what are x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 my dear students yes so x1 y1 is equals to x1 comma y1 is equals to see x1 y1 are the coordinates of a again you are getting 0 so it is making us very easy so 0 comma 7 x2 comma y2 x2 comma y2 are the coordinates of c what is c minus 4 comma minus 2 similarly x3 comma y3 is equals to coordinates of d that is minus 4 comma 5 i am substituting all these values i am once again saying i have seen most of the students they are committing mistake in taking values of x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 after that they are doing correctly but taking them correctly is not doing so be careful that is equals to half into x1 so 0 into y2 minus y3 y2 is minus 2 and y3 is minus x2 minus means minus 5 plus what is x2 next x2 means minus 4 means i will write minus of minus 4 uh, plus of minus 4 is minus 4 and uh, y3 minus y1 y3 is 5 y1 is 7 5 minus 7 next x3 what is x3 x3 here is minus 4 therefore i am writing minus 4 y1 minus y2 what is y1 7 minus 2 7 minus of minus 2 be careful 7 plus 2 that is equals to so half into this is 0 not required to calculate it so write it as 0 and this is 5 minus 7 is minus 2 minus 2 into minus 4 plus 8 right 
and this is 7 plus 2 9 9 4 is a 36 minus 36 okay that is equals to this is minus 36 and this is uh, plus uh, 8 8 minus 36 will give you what is what it is actually half into modulus of minus 28 minus 28 if you remove modulus that is equals half into 28 that is equals to 2 ones are 2 14 are that is equals to 14 square units is the area of the second triangle therefore area of area of a b c d is equals to what is the area of the first triangle you calculated in this case that is here you have written that value here so 93 by 2 plus area of the second triangle is 14 square units that is equals to 93 plus 28 by 2 what it is actually 90 if you are uh, confusing to do this sum remove 3 and 8 if you remove 3 then it is 90 this is 20 110 110 whatever you removed take again 3 plus 8 11 so 110 plus 11 121 that is equals to 121 by 2 square units is the area of the quadrilateral ABCD in this way you may calculate whatever the type of the triangle so I hope this video is helpful to you my dear students I will post a video on every Saturday at 5 p.m. so be ready to watch a new video until then have a nice day thank you thank you very much